No, your eyes don't deceive you. Taken King's loading screen blesses us all today because the final update to the PS3 and Xbox 360 version of this game was on July 26th, 2016. Two months before the release of Rise of Iron for PS4 and Xbox One. So this version of the game will forever be frozen in time as the April update state of the game. And this is how my characters were left off before fully making the switch to Xbox One. Now I want to pause for a second here, because to even make it to this point in the video, it was quite a journey. I had to buy an Xbox 360 from some dude an hour away because I no longer have my original 360, I had to order a 360 copy of Destiny 1 online, and once the game arrived I had to spend quite a few hours transferring game content. So if you wouldn't mind dropping a like on this video for the amount of effort to even get to this screen, I'd appreciate it. Now the second I selected my hunter, I unlocked an achievement. Flawless Raider because I guess it was the only one I didn't do back when I played on 360 and didn't do it till I was playing on the one. But the last one I ever got on the 360 was the Heroic King's Fall in October 2015. Holy shit, that was seven and a half years ago. So I played the 360 version of Destiny 1 from vanilla until January 2016, when I'd finally make the upgrade to the one. My clan and I just never felt the need to upgrade prior to this because we only really played Destiny, and the Xbox 360 version was still getting all the updates and releases, so why spend 500 bucks on a new console just to play the same game with a slight graphic boost? But after Taken King was slowing down a bit in December, and there were some new games on the horizon coming out for next-gen consoles that we were kind of interested in, like The Division and Overwatch, plus we'd need to catch up on The Witcher 3 and Fallout 4 which came out the year prior on the newer consoles, so most of us had begun making that switch in late 2015 or early 2016. But one of our clan mates was still on 360, even after the April 2016 update. So we would go back a few times a week on our 360s to run a raid or do some trials with him, up until Rise of Iron, of course, which did not release on old gen. So what you're seeing here is what I had on when I logged off 360 for the final time. Until now. The servers are still up, which is a beautiful thing, but the question is, will we find any other legends still hanging around this version of Destiny? Well, let's head to the tower and find out. Alright, moment of truth. Will we find anyone? <gasps> we found one! Hello, Cypherall. Hello, hello. Dude, this guy's actually level 6. He's actually a new character, holy shit. God damn, that's crazy. What you got for me, Postmaster? Sterling treasure. Transfer. Yeah, these were replaced with the Treasure of Ages, or whatever they're called in the Xbox One version right now. And I think all these items are actually in there as well. There's just a bunch of other shit too. Alright, Spectre Boots. Oh yeah, that's right, dude. This didn't actually get permanently opened until Rise of Iron or Age of Triumph or something. Only accessible with Iron Banner. We found another one. But he seems pretty busy. He's out of his menu. God, dude, this game... This game's running at 720p. 30 frames per second, and it's still goddamn gorgeous. It's the art style, man. You can't fucking top art style with graphics. I decided to head to the different factions and see what they had for sale since the weapons and armor they sell is the Taken King stuff that you can't actually get anymore on the Xbox One or PS4 version, and New Monarchy was packing a pretty damn good auto rifle with perfect balance and counterbalance, and the hand cannon was a pretty good PvP roll as well, but the archetype just kind of holds it back a bit. Heading over to Dead Orbit, Arak Jalal did not have super great rolls on the weapons, However, he is selling Hung Jury, which is still one of the best scouts in the game, but of course, I've already got a pretty good roll on my Hung Jury. Lakshmi has one of the best, if not the actual best roll for the Vacancy Fusion Rifle, 
It's a hot swap rangefinder braced frame roll, which is absolutely cracked for this fusion. And the Vanguard Quartermaster was selling some decent options this week, but nothing too crazy. Lord Shax was of course selling some of that Seahawks merch. And the Crucible Quartermaster was selling weapons to match, including a deadly god rolled hawksaw. So I think it's actually a pretty damn good week to be playing on PS3 or Xbox 360 because these vendors are selling some pretty good items. And the best part is, more Guardians began showing up around the tower. And before we head out into the world, I found a few exotic engrams in my vault, so let's just go ahead and open them up real quick. Oh, pity uh, your Dragon's Breath. That looks very solid, Guardian. Bad Juju. Fourth Horseman. Let's grab a couple more. Ooh, I actually didn't even have this on this account. Be sure you know what <laughs> Another Dragon's Breath. Another one. Okay. So first, I wanted to swing by the Cosmodrome for just a second and get a comparison shot here. And then I decided to explore a bit more, and guess who I ran into? Our dude Cypherall chilling in a cave. Fucking legend, man. And then I took to the Heroic Strike playlist and instantly found two other Guardians in the playlist, to my surprise. And these dudes were no amateurs, alright? We're talking seasoned veterans who knew how to run strikes. And I ended up spending an hour or so running strikes with them in the playlist. It was a lot of fun. And my hawk. There we go. You know, they probably built that thing out of scrap from the Cosmodrome. It's lucky that it managed to work as well as it did. My dude is taking on Omnigol with a bubble, let's go. Oh, his bubble's gone. Rest in pieces on the goal. Quotas will have been defeated. This dude ran fucking way far ahead and ended up dead. Beneath the stairs. Oh, shit. Yeah, get him. Let's go. In the darkness rising, more fleets will come and new leaders will rise. We must be ready to face them all. Well, thanks for the strikes, gentlemen. Appreciate it. But I am out of here. Afterwards, I spent maybe 15 minutes searching for some Crucible matches to no avail, unfortunately. And can I just say, look at all these options we used to have here. And during its prime, I never struggled to find a match in any of these playlists. And I was on 360. And of course, there were more people on the one at the time. Just like Halo back in the day, we had all the options and no problem. But now everything just gets kind of condensed into some type of mosh pit, either quick player competitive, and just the occasional rotator playlist. All I'm saying is, I just miss having a lot of options for PvP. So I went and hung out on the moon for a bit, did some sightseeing, and even booted up the King's Fall raid just to get a look at it again because a majority of my King's Fall raid completions were done on the 360. And you know, it's honestly pretty incredible that King's Fall ran flawlessly for 360 and PS3 because this raid is huge. Even by today's standards, it's a big raid. And finally, I landed on Prison of Elders, Urox's Grudge. Round one. 
bone walkers of the hive. Kill them. You face the final round. He rocks the flame prince, Scion of Orphans. Not bad. Taste victory. It is sweet. You have won. You fought. You won. Your treasure awaits. Ah, the treasure room. Well, that was great. <laughs> I gotta say that these six hours on the Xbox 360 version of Destiny 1 was probably some of the most fun I've had with this game, with this franchise, in a long time. I might be coming back to this version of Destiny 1 a lot. It's pretty cool to actually be able to play during the April update version of Destiny 1. Things are actually quite different from the Age of Triumph version of the game. And it's cool that Xur still comes to town, and the Nightfall gets updated every week, and it's actually different than the Xbox One Nightfall, like it's on its own separate rotator. And this game is still alive! There's people still in the tower, and in the strike playlist. PvP not so much, which is unfortunate, but expected. But I don't know man, it was just pretty cool to come back and play this game. This is where it all began for me, on Destiny 1 the Xbox 360 version of this game. And I know there's some of you out there who definitely started back on 360 or PS3 as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.